What's up, Legends? This is Pro Warriors. We're back with another hot update, and this time it's all about Nusu Emulator, the underdog that's shaking up the scene. This beast is MediaTek Molly friendly, meaning it runs like magic even on low end potato and non Snapdragon devices. It packs overclocking support for those who want to squeeze every drop of power out of their phones. But here's the real kicker Nayusu comes with a special and tutu tuned build, giving you benchmarked performance and buttery smooth gameplay that you won't believe until you try it. Let's install the emulator, apply the best settings, and test a few games. Unfortunately, Nushu doesn't have a GitHub repository yet. You can only download the app from their official Telegram channel. As I mentioned, Nushu always comes in two different variants, Antutu and Overclock. The Antutu version is optimized for benchmark performance, while the Overclock version pushes your hardware for maximum speed. So grab the APK at your convenience and install it right away. Since Eden is built using Yuzu's source code, you'll need to go through the usual setup, enable notifications, install the product keys, and set up your game directories. The emulator supports both XCI and NSP formats right out of the box. Disclaimer, the emulator itself is legal, but using illegal ROMs is forbidden. I do not support or provide access to pirated games, so please use legal copies for your safety. We can notice that this update is very different from the previous new SU release. If you check the menu, there's now a get early access option for the newest builds, but it doesn't work at the moment. There's also a new theme option, and I suggest trying the dark theme, it looks amazing. The dark background with red highlights gives it a premium feel. Now let's head over to the settings and configure the best options. Click on the gear icon in the bottom right corner, then select advanced settings and open the system tab. Here, you'll see it already shows which settings are recommended and which are not. I recommend turning off the limit speed option so the emulator can utilize your device's full potential. But sometimes, this can actually cause lag because disabling limit speed forces 60 FPS, and some games may not handle that well, leading to stutter and lag issues. If you enable docked mode, it will increase the resolution but might reduce performance. So, keep it disabled if your device isn't powerful enough. In the graphics section, keep CPU accuracy set to normal. You can set the resolution to 4x for high-end devices, but I suggest using 1x, which is 720pi, for a balanced experience. You can also try the newly added 0.25x resolutions, which are super helpful for low-end or potato devices. Higher resolutions require more power, so adjust this based on your device's capabilities. For V-Sync mode, I recommend using Immediate, which basically means it's turned off. Leave Windows Binary at default by near. For anti-aliasing method, set it to FXAA. Set anisotropic filtering to 2x. In aspect ratio, choose stretch to window for maximum display coverage. Enable force maximum clocks only if you're using an Adreno GPU, but be cautious, as this might cause overheating. Enable use asynchronous shaders to compile shaders asynchronously, reducing stutter, although it may introduce glitches. Enable use reactive flushing to improve rendering accuracy in some games, but note that it might cost some performance. Now go to the debug settings. Another big addition is the support for Vulkan and OpenGL ES 2.0 something I haven't seen in other emulators. Definitely try both, because performance will depend on the game. Feel free to experiment with these settings to find what works best for your device, and if anything goes wrong, you can always reset to default. Next, head back to the main settings menu, where you'll find an option to install custom GPU drivers. By default, the emulator selects your device's GPU driver, but you can install a custom one for better performance. For this video, I'm using the Qualcomm Adreno 805 driver. I also installed the firmware to test the applet launcher, but it crashed. Oh well, never mind. I tested a few games to compare performance with other emulator. The Nushu Emulator V35 update is a massive step forward, especially for all the MediaTek users out there. If you found this video helpful, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn on the notifications so you never miss an update. Take care.